them with me a few bit, and all of a sudden, she was sexually attacked. Neighbors could hear her screaming, and someone called 911. What's your emergency? One of my neighbors is screaming. I think it's a young girl. Um, I think it sounds like someone's attacking her. What's the address? 54831 Birchley Street. Okay, and what's your name? Jeanette Dotson. Okay, Jeanette, I'm dispatching police to the scene right now. Police arrived at the scene and found 16-year-old Megan Bazaar lying on her bed, naked, bruised, and beaten, but alive. The police chief called for an ambulance to transport Megan to the hospital. Forensic investigators began trying to figure out who committed this crime. They eventually came up with three potential suspects. The first one being 16-year-old okay? Leo Levinsky, Muggins' best friend. Uh, uh, okay, let's, let's call for the ambulance. We have to figure out who our suspects are in this case. Well, I already came up with three. Oh, really? Who? Well, there's the best friend, the boyfriend, and the enemy. Okay. So, I suggest we start with the best friend first. Okay, that sounds good. Leo, in my opinion, is a really good kid. Um, he's always smiling. He treats everyone with respect and he never takes anything for granted and um and he's he's one of Megan's bestest friends and um and it's such a shame that that forensic investigators are going to be asking him questions about this whole case and um and I just hope that that nothing um, bad comes out of it. 
forensic investigators came to my house and they said to me that I was a potential suspect in the sexual attack. I said, who was sexually attacked? They told me Buggy Brissette. So I said, that's my best friend. Is she okay? They said she's fine. So I was relieved about that. But then I started thinking, this is nuts. Why in a million years would they think that I would do something like that's my best friend? I would never do anything like that. Never. Leo Where was given a lie detector test not? and he passed. And Investigators and also took DNA samples from him and DNA samples not. from the crime Ding. scene, but none of it matched. Okay. So they moved to potential suspect and number two, which was 16-year-old Casey like Jones, not. Nugget's Ding. boyfriend. doesn't match. So, where'd you know? Let's go to the boyfriend. Okay. Casey's a pretty good guy. I mean, he's been together with Nuggin for maybe like three years or so, and yeah, I can definitely tell that he really likes her. And um, yeah, he, he just really loves her, and um, so we'll, we'll see what happens. Surprised to see forensic investigators showing up at my apartment. They told me that my girlfriend was sexually attacked and they asked me if I had anything to do with it. I said, no, of course not. I love my girlfriend very much and I would never do anything to hurt her. Casey Where was also given a lie detector test and he passed as well. His At DNA samples were also taken from not. him, and Ding. DNA samples from the crime scene, okay. but once again, it didn't match. Um, so, forensic investigators moved to the last potential tech. suspect, 37-year-old no, Twister, not in front of me. It's in, it's going nowhere. We don't have a match again. So, um, what do we do now? Well, there's the last potential suspect. Let's go to the enemy. Okay. I believe that Twister is the kind of guy that would do something like this to my next door neighbor Muggin. Reason is because Muggin and Twister hate each other. They absolutely hate each other. They're enemies. I believe he's the one who committed this senseless evil crime. I've had people pointing their fingers at me, telling me that I'm the one that committed this crime. That's just a bunch of baloney. If you want to go pointing fingers, go point them at someone else. And by someone else, I mean Leo. He's the one who did this. Twister keeps denying everything, saying that he didn't do this. That's ridiculous. I believe that he attacked me, and he kept trying to frame my best friend, saying that Leo did it when Leo wasn't even at my house at the time of my attack. So Twister can go sit in jail for 20 to 30 some years by sexually attacking me because I didn't give consent to it, nor did I ever want it to happen to me in the first place. It's true. I was home the entire time and didn't think anything of it when I heard screaming across the street. But when forensic investigators told me it was my best friend Maggie, I was completely shocked. I was also shocked when they labeled me as a potential suspect in the case. I was thinking this is crazy. 
This is insane! Forensic investigators continued to search for traces of evidence, DNA, and facts that would link Twister to the crime. When they questioned him, he kept denying everything and tried to blame it on Leo. So as a result, Leo, Casey, and Twister were arrested so investigators could investigate further into the case. Okay, I just want to know, were you at Nuggets House? No, I wasn't. Why are you putting this on me? Leo's the one who did this. Oh, don't try to put this on me, Twister. You're, you're ridiculous. Hey, 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 knock it off, okay? Okay, what's going on here? Um, simply an argument. Yeah, cause, cause they're freaking blaming me when this is all Leo's fault. No, it's not. Stop blaming it on me, Twister. Oh, shut up. Okay, you know what? You three are under arrest until further notice. What? Ridiculous. Shut up. This is ridiculous. Just shut up and let's go. The first time I heard that metal door slam behind me, it was unbelievable. I felt like I wanted to crawl inside my shell and never come out again. My heart was racing. My adrenaline was rising. At one point, I shouted at a police officer telling him to release Casey and I because we'd done nothing wrong. All I heard was Leo shouting at this police officer telling him to let us go. And I wanted to say to him, dude, calm down, we're going to get out of this. I saw Casey looking at me from the cell next to me. and. I could tell that he wanted to say something to me, but he didn't. Hearing that my best friend and my boyfriend were in jail, it just broke my heart. It felt like someone took the life out of me and grinded it up into a million pieces. They didn't do anything wrong, and here they are being incarcerated for something they didn't even do. Twister is the one that should be in jail, not them. As days went we by, have a forensics DNA match. showed that Twister's DNA matched Twister. the DNA showing at the crime scene. I didn't Twister do still it! Denied any yes, involvement, you did! Unfortunately for him, forensic science doesn't lie. What really happened was that as Twister was trying to get into the house, he made a knocking noise outside the house, which was in the room, but he didn't see anything out the window. This allowed Twister to sneak in. I kicked the bedroom door open, causing Buddy to scream. Twister yelled at her, then he pushed her into the bed, ripped his clothes off in her clothes, played to her, hit her, then she put his clothes on again and left, inadvertently leaving his DNA behind. Twister was convicted and sentenced to 32 years in prison. 
as for Megan, she is back home oh with Shut her family, up. friends. You're under arrest, Twister, for sexually attacking Megan Rosette. Oh, this is ridiculous! I'm gonna get my revenge someday! Oh, shut up. Don't you dare tell me to shut up! You shut up! This is all stupid forensics. Like I said, this is all stupid forensic. I'll shut up and keep moving. for forensic science and for those who had supported me through this in whole ordeal. I can't thank anyone enough for what they have done for me. As for Twister, I never want to see his face again. It's amazing what forensic science can do. It really is. <laughs>